Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the brand new text marquee effect or element inside of Wix Studio. Let's go ahead and get started. So here I am inside of Wix Studio and in order to add the text marquee element to our website, we can come over to add, go down to text and you'll now see a new option called text marquee. Now here we'll have a few different options ready to go. My favorite is probably this one right here. I think this one looks pretty cool. Now we can make the width as wide as we want, but if we want to stretch the screen, we can easily just press the stretch option here. Now, a couple things I wanna mention before we get started is we can actually connect this to CMS. If we do that, we can actually connect the text to the title field if we wanted to. But of course, I'm not gonna be doing that in today's video. But another thing to mention here is we can actually link the text as well. So if we wanna link to a contact page or something, we can easily do that from here as well. But let's switch back over to the design tab and check out all of the design capabilities that we have. So the first thing that you'll notice is we can change the font. We can even change the font size and set even a min and max. We have a lot of these same different text effects that we can use with regular text elements, which I think is really nice. One thing I really like is this capitalization option here. So if I go ahead and change the text to say, subscribe to the channel, you'll notice that only the first word, I actually used an uppercase letter. So I can easily set this to title case to capitalize the first letter of every single word, which I think is a really cool feature. Then of course we can adjust the character and item spacing, which the item is the kind of spacer here or the separator as they call it. So if I up this to 50, you'll notice that the spacing in between gets a little bit larger, but I like 20, I think that was a good number. Underneath all of the text settings, we have the separator. So as you can see right here, we have this icon right there. Now, of course we can change this out if we wanted to, maybe we just wanna add some other item and we can easily adjust the size and the color of the item from right here, which I think is pretty cool. Now I will say I did kind of like that little character it had before. So I'm just going to undo it and show this little frog here. But underneath the separator, we have the movement settings. So right now it is set to 8.5. So when I go ahead and preview it, this is gonna be the speed of the marquee effect. Now, honestly, I actually really like the speed. I think it's easy for people to read and it's not too nauseating, but we can easily make this go really, really fast. We can even change the direction and we can even allow people to pause it on hover. So if it is linked to a contact page, then it will allow people to select the text more easily. So if I go ahead and preview it with the really fast speed, you can see that honestly, that's pretty nauseating. But if I hover over it, it's going to pause the animation for us. Now, obviously that movement speed is uh, quite drastic. So I'm gonna turn off pause on hover and I'm gonna make this 8.5, okay? Actually, I'll even make it 12. 12 is actually a pretty good speed as well. But before I end the video, I kinda wanna show you a pretty cool thing that you can do with it. You're not just stuck with this text being horizontal. If I unstretch this, and I set the width to be like 110%, then you're gonna notice it kind of goes off screen, right? But if we come all the way down to the bottom and we rotate it like three degrees, we'll have a really nice effect. But before I preview the website with this skewed effect, I, we actually need to grab the section and we need to set the overflow content from show to hide. That's gonna clip anything that's outside of the borders area here. That way the users can't accidentally scroll left or right on our website unintentionally. So now we can go ahead and preview the website and we have this nice little skewed effect with our text marquee. So this way you can kind of create this kind of effect pretty easily inside of Wix Studio. Now obviously you probably want to spend a little bit more time on this, but it's another cool way to kind of create a different effect using the text marquee effect inside of Wix Studio. So that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again for watching and a special thank you to all the channel members. I'll see y'all in the next one.